dun 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 dramatic reverb well hello there welcome back to alan wake the first one the was so interesting was my best bet they'd have a phone i could use it looked like a long hike through the forest to get there yes indeed anyway the first one seemed so interesting that i just had to come back for more and come back i shall uh oh. Well, now we have no choice. <laughs> We're stranded here, aren't we? We're gonna die, aren't we? I love saying that. Don't know why. Maybe I shouldn't be so excited to die. Hello? But I'm Adu. Whoa. Hey, buddy, can you quit bre quit shining that flashlight Hello? right into my face? Someone there? Oh, I was the one talking. My bad. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Lovely. That means I am gonna die. What is this, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Diamond is Unbreakable? And then, Alan Wake was also killed. The axe murderer found a way to kill him. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident! You've just activated my stand! Axe murderer! Bites the dust! Yes, I am drawing parallels between that. Got a problem with that? The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. <laughs> you really think it's gonna be that easy, pal? I think you underestimate the way these games work. Oh yeah, he doesn't realize his life is a game. <laughs> How unfortunate. Employees must wear protective eyewear at all times. Ouch. Okay, that was a little painful. Anybody there? Even though I deliberately Please. tried to. Hey. Hey, you. Fail. There's been an accident. I need help. Deposit. I need to. Cabins for rent in Oh hell. Oh great. Ducky. Please to beat you. non refundable reservation has required. Fair and square. What the hell? He seems nice. He seems like a nice guy. Maybe I should just go walk up to him. Premium currency! Give us money! Wake fights are taken with light. Well, what do you know? Ouch. Okay, that was not expected. Oh, crap. Maybe I shouldn't let him spot me. I don't even have my flashlight, unfortunately. Run! Run towards the light, my son. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like yeah. Nicholson in The Shining. Wow, I was about to make that reference. Now you ruined it. I ah, screwed. I'm making it anyway. Here's Johnny. During your trying, how would you like me to flash light into your eyes? Yes. In Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Grab all the Energizer batteries that only last two seconds. You know, when they were making this advertising deal, I don't think they realized the implications. If these were actually Energizer batteries... If these were
these were actually supposed to be energizer batteries, they would have to be very terrible ones. They would have to be ones that are on the verge of death already, somehow. Okay, I'm guessing the goal is this way because that's where the golden... Take this! Oh, crap. Die, you fiend! With a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. You only killed a monster, screaming. man. Don't worry about it. Felt real enough to make me sick. Sir, there's nothing to be the ashamed about. The was the last place I wanted to go. But I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. You know, maybe you shouldn't... Oh, wait. Wake was attacked by a shadowy murderer. Ah. So despite what he said... It's wabbit season! No, it's duck season! Can't you read? It's duck season! Ain't I a stinker? I don't even remember the buttons. I'm guessing you can't crouch, though. Which is very unfortunate. Do I have to run this way? Ooh, manuscript. Rose daydreams about Wake. Wait, what? We're not even up to her yet. That was weird. Ooh, look at that. Good to know that every emergency kit comes with revolver bullets. I mean, don't get me wrong, that qualifies. That would come in real handy during an emergency. I just didn't expect it to be that kind of an emergency. This is a bad neighborhood. What was that? Is this a bad enough neighborhood that they need revolver bullets as a as an emergency tactic? I love how when he's just flashing the light normally. It doesn't waste batteries, but... When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. And then I'm going to stare at the entire time that I go down, just because... Hey, man, you say that you don't want to look at the water, you're going to make me stare at the water. I'm just saying. You should not tempt fate like that. Especially when you're dealing with me. I will do the exact thing you don't want to out of spite. I should run towards that voice. I'm sure Mr. Crazy Voice will help me. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Well, let's bring him to the light, shall we? I've got more than enough tools. I, I love how when you pick it up, it just says lithium batteries, even though it's clearly energizer batteries. Or maybe I'm not paying close enough attention, and those are supposed to be some kind of parody. Ouch. Come to the light, my son. Oh, crap. Step into the light. Really? Really? I was shining the light right on him. There we go. Wait, he can sh he can shield himself. What a prick. Oh, okay. He was already lit up. My bad. Either that was already preordained or I just didn't notice when but I'm pretty sure the loud noise would have given it away. So, was he already captivated by the light and I just didn't realize it? Did he, did it shine through both of them at once? Does it do piercing damage? I didn't know a flashlight could the do piercing damage. Was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Sorry that I'm psychoanalyzing this, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Pick up the stuff. Wait, let me, let me check. Let me check for sure. Yep, it is Energizer. 
It's not some kind of off-brand, it's literally Energizer batteries, and yet now it's gonna say, You picked up the lithium batteries! Did they make the text before they struck the deal? I couldn't it... stay here. There had to be a way to get up there. Indeed. Maybe the way that the map is pointing to- There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Indeed. Find a generator! Good thing the game is pointing me in that direction. Otherwise, I might have... I might actually have to explore! Damn you! You bastard! Wow! Grouping up, ganging up on me all at once, huh? What a brave bunch of shadows you guys are! You prick! You're not gonna get the better of me again! I dare you to do that again! I dare you! Where the hell are you? I'm gonna get you all in one direction! And then I'll kill you! Become blinded by the light, my son! Really? What the hell? Ah, hell! Dude, run and reload at the same time. Don't you know how to do that? Don't you know how to do that? There you go. Now, before any more freaks show up, let's just go ahead and turn on the generator. There we go. Excellent. It is now lit up. We got this place lit, son. Ah, the light is good. It fills me with such hope. The light fills you with confidence. And probably determination, who knows. Press the button, Crunk. Oh, I see. Very nice! This might be where I need to put it, right? Or do I just need to keep pushing? I don't I don't know. I don't know what the game wants from me. Reach the path above. Ah. So I probably was supposed to put it back there. Sorry, I get confused. Yeah, that that looks more about right, especially when there's a ladder right here. I mean, it's only natural. Okay, let's quit wasting time and get to it. Wait. Run! Ouch. That probably wasn't so good for my ankles. Oh well, keep moving. Keep running, man. How much longer until the gas station is within sight? It feels like I've been walking an eternity. A flare gun. Right. Very nice! I guess that's for an emergency. I assume that you just shoot it at them and it makes them instantly vulnerable. If not, even damage them. Wake finds pages! Well, you're not wrong! <laughs> you're definitely not wrong! The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Harry Burster is the best with no coat. Monster dog is What are you talking about? His dog is Do you have derp? Ah. Yeah, you suck. You win! 
ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You wanna talk about dogs, huh? That's what you are. Ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Am I sustaining massive damage? TV in the gas station. What? I stepped into the gas station's garage. Well, you're spoiling it for yourself. Maybe you shouldn't spoil what happens before it already happens, huh? Maybe you should let me be let it be a surprise to me, huh? More of those energizer batteries that only last two seconds. I'm sure they don't regret this product placement at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, because. Yeah, stay away from the crane. Proceed at your own risk. Logging area ahead. Good, good call. I love how he keeps finding himself in forests where his story said that he was killed. Yeah, that definitely makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Maybe it's time to run. Just run, dude. Run. Grab the page. Ouch. You jerk. Okay, now at least they have to come in single file. Be drawn to the light, my son. Hmm. I see the flashlight does slowly restore it itself. So you don't necessarily need to use these batteries. It just kind of depends. Oh, okay. What's preventing this gate from opening? Or maybe there's something I need to actually make the gate open. Ooh, a shotgun. Nice. That could come in handy. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. I see we're going there. Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Twilight Zone. The press conference. Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Man, I marathon watched Twilight Zone at one point. Loved it. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please. Stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. But another gun can kill you. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? 
I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Nice parody. Seriously, 10 out of 10. I'm so glad I watched the Twilight Zone, like, religiously at one point. Just because that allows me to really appreciate that reference. So I guess this is the timeline in which he did end up dying. Sucks to be you! Just like this is the reality in which the game dies. Lovely. I just love it when games crash. It just fills me with joy. Immense joy. No, it doesn't. Hang tight. So I had to claw back a little more progress this time around. Yeah. It seems I hadn't reached a checkpoint. Probably because I was watching TV. It's not like I need to watch it again, right? Right. Once is enough. That was fun, though. Despite the crashing, I really enjoyed the Twilight Zone reference. It was really on point. Seriously. Is that a wood chipper? Well, throw it on! Throw on that wood chipper! Your parents did this! I'm sorry. I'll stop. What are you doing, man? Are you him? No, you're just a mook, aren't you? Take this! Take this, you fool! Come on! When they're no longer black silhouettes, that means you can kill them. There we go. Wait, these ones aren't dying. Or at least they're not dying for good. They're kept, they're gonna keep responding. They're gonna keep spawning in. May as well just leave. Really? You're gonna keep taking cracks at me, huh? I better just run. Uh, nope. That was obviously a bad idea. It's usually a good idea. Yeah. Thanks for telling me that. that yeah, that's really helpful. It's, it's not helpful at all. What are you talking about? Wow, it's a good thing there are just... There's just infinite ammo here. It's good to know. Prick. Yeah, that's great, pal. That's real great. Oh, no. Darn it. I better corral them into one spot. But I expect to survive here. You bastard, you're trying to flank me. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, you can't. You can't even cancel out of the reload either. You you got to commit to it. That's bull, man. That's freaking bull, man. We'll screw you too. Limit reached. Okay, fine. See if I care. See if I give a damn. Shut up. You need to shut up, man. Darn it. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be some 
kind of corral here that they can't get into. And they can't just flank me around. Take this! Darn it. Relo reload the gun, you idiot! I forgot that I can dodge. Damn it. Ooh, that was a close one. Reload, you idiot! Are you on a- He's incapable of running and reloading at the same time. That's just great. Okay, clearly I'm screwing this up. Hang tight real quick. Really? Now it's opening? Done, dude. Take this! Oh. Is that the main guy? Oh crap. Whoops. Not good. It's not one to open. Now I understand. Once I make him vulnerable, I'm gonna hit him with a shotgun. I don't care. This guy's clearly different from the others. Oh crap! Darn, only one shell left. Make it count! There we go. That guy was clearly a boss type. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. Yeah, that is making a very generous assumption, isn't it? I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Clearly I underestimated this. It can be a bit more challenging than I thought. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Indeed. Lies to the sheriff. Okay. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Yeah, no kidding. Well, the station itself is closed. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it. I'll, I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Clearly what you write becomes reality, so just say that the hero wins. The monster just F's off into the abyss forever. I mean, if you had that kind of ability, I'd use it. Why not, right? What to say? What the? Oh, okay. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competitions, live music for the children, Bucktooth, Charlie, and Montgomery, the Mystic's Amazing Phantasmagoria. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest Parade. That's nice. Ooh. Is that basically... Nope. It's some kind of coolant. I thought it was WD-40. The anti-rust is probably it, though. Some WD-40? I'm looking for a tap and tie and some WD-40. Bright Ball Sheriff Station. Finally. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen. 
I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. He has. Are you okay? Listen. No, we'll he's not. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. The cabin was his own creation, wasn't it? Dun dun dun! Dramatic reverb! A candy colored clown they call the sand. Wait, what? Tiptoes to my room every night. Just a sprinkle of stardust and a whisper. Go to sleep. Previously on Alan Wake. Oh, I was about to say that better not just be the opening. Wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now she's missing. Alice. <laughs> Alice. Unfortunately, I don't have time. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. In fact, I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like normal, see? For once. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.